Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue to fix the irrigation system in Highpool. So everybody except for Vulture's Cry is currently at number 8 up here. So let's move on to number 9, number 5, number 2, and then move up through number 6. And at this point we should have the missing valve, and then we can move up here and go use it back at number 10. By the way, that is a feature I just realized exists right about now. I've never actually done this before, but if you open up the map and double-click somewhere on it, it actually takes your camera to that point. Pretty cool. I still think the map system here is pretty terrible, though. But hasn't been too much of a problem so far. I just, I really want a mini-map of some sort. But I don't believe it exists. And this thing, I, I don't know. For some reason, I just find this more confusing than anything, really. Alright, this should, should take me to number... 9, is it? Ranger Citadel. This is... Kathy Lawson at... Ag Center. Don't come. There's no one left. The plants are... I could barely even hear her. She was so quiet. These pipes rise around you like trees in a forest. A throbbing, gurgling forest. A forest with gigantic cockroaches. Ooh, shotgun blast would be nice here. Yes. Oh, damn it. I almost got a shotgun shot off. You know, I'm trying to think of how much ammo to save, because I have so many medkits, and there is a doctor nearby. I don't think... Like, I don't think saving our health really matters, actually. Eh, I'm just gonna bash him. <laughs> nice. I will use my pistol, though, because I've got so much damn ammo of that. Please don't hit Theodore. Good. Man, so close to being in range. Look at that. Oh, but the like the tips of its little legs are in range. Isn't that good enough? Oh, grenade. Yeah. Which one was the good one? Which one is a good one? Seven to thirteen damage, ten to fifteen. Well, this one's just better, isn't it? Is a nail board really better than a barbed wire bat? It seems it is. Yeah, I guess so. Take that! Yeah. And you can just, like, run away. I'm going to use melee weapons and pistols for these. I'll take a bit of extra damage, but it's fine. Lost control. Okay, not bad. I wish you hit the one that would have actually died when you hit it, rather than ineffectually spreading your damage across multiple enemies. But it's okay. Helen can pick up the slack. Ah, no! Shot Angela in the back. It's okay, she's got a shit ton of health. Ooh, actually, if she doesn't move, she can hit twice with a nail board. Actually, she can 
Yeah, she has the same percent chance to hit this, actually. That's right, you don't have to actually be right next to an enemy to hit them with a melee weapon. Or... Oh, no, it just automatically moves for you. Gee, thank you! Now I can't hit! <laughs> Come and get it, candy ass. Significant chance of friendly fire again. Let's move here. Plus one AP. Nice. Didn't even take that much damage. Why can't I make them reload? I guess because some have melee weapons? Yeah. Some more blue lights coming on up here, Rangers. Thanks. Two down, two to go. Probably another one that I can't open with my computer science. Yep. Another manual safe. There's a trap. Not a trap in this one, though. Controller chip number 13. It almost seems like a quest item or something, but it says junk. Let's see if it has a description. This looks like a controller chip from an old water purification system. These things can be pretty hard to get a hold of. Wait a minute. Controller chip number 13. Was there a Vault 13 from one of the old Fallouts? Is this a joke? Is this like an item that you were searching for for the entirety of the first Fallout and it's just here and it's a piece of junk and that's the joke? I feel like that might be it. Because I'm pretty sure you're searching for a water purification ship in the first Fallout, right? And in the second Fallout, you're searching for the Gek, the Garden of Eden, uh, the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden creation kit. This one, this one should be open as well. Number five? Yeah. Cockroaches. Let's open up with some old Navy revolver. Ah! Almost. Yeah, these things are easy. <laughs> Although it's surprisingly hard to hit. Oh my god! What is wrong with you people?
Thank you. Alright, let's just finish this thing off. Ooh, so many boxes. Is it a trap? Yep. Trauma kits. Haven't had to use any of that stuff so far, thankfully. And there's another trap. are open and water's rushing through. The pressure is still building, though. Hurry up and find that last release valve. Alright, so the last one is the one that needs the valve. Oh, man, there's so many of these things. I wish I could open them. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This one can be opened. Look at that. Finds an electronic lock. Yeah, this one's a tumbler. This one is electronic lock. That is a case for... Harper. Yeah, you program that safe. Mm. Where does this go? Oh, this is actually going down. That's going to lead to number two. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Let's do number six as well. Fuck. <laughs> I did too many. Alright, we said it. Number two. Number six. All right. Oh, there it is. The thick smell of moldy cardboard fills the room. You can hear rats squeaking from somewhere within the maze of junk-laden shelves. From the maze of... Of junk late From the maze of the junk laden shelves that fills it. Ooh, another electronic lock? Yes. <laughs> Everybody's packed in there so much. Got a Harper Overton sandwich. a better medic pack. It's a small one instead of a pocket medic pack. Medic pack. So it's tiny but slightly larger than miniature. Ugh. Another spike collar. I think Yulia's wearing one, right? I mean, I guess for somebody who doesn't actually have the kiss-ass skill, then you might as well wear it. it. Gives you some more charisma. So, who doesn't have a trinket? Well, I can't give it to you, because you actually do have kiss-ass. Oh, everybody actually has one. 
Although, the Outdoorsman skill doesn't actually matter since Vulture's Cry has a very good Outdoorsman skill. Sure. I'll give her it. A box full of little plastic oblong... Oh yeah, more of those. And now I've totally got myself mixed around, and I have no idea where the hell I am. Oh, right, that goes back to number three. I want to go to number six, which is... here. So I have to access it from number five, I guess? Or... Oh, no, number three also goes to it. I think I just re-enabled. Disabled and then re-enabled number six. Alright, this should house the stuff for the radio power. And a bunch of cockroaches. Alright, see if I can get a shot off. There we go. Didn't even hit, but there we go. Nice! Two good shots. Alright, that's going to come attack Helen, of course, so let's go ahead and ambush here. <laughs> Set up a little ambush line around Helen. Yeah, you try and go after her. going to bash your face in. <laughs> Did you sit? Did you just both miss? It didn't even look like Angela did anything. What the hell? Did she even hit? Like, did she even try to hit? Yeah, she... What? I think it bugged out. It said execute ambush for both of them, because they're both next to it, of course. But look at this. Yulia attack... Uh, Yulia's attack goes awry and misses a cockroach. There's nothing here for Angela actually trying to hit it. She didn't even... It triggered her ambush, but she didn't actually try to hit. What a load of shit. Oh, God. No! Alright, whatever. She won't get there in time. I don't even have enough action points to reload. Alright, run away. And keep running. <sighs> oh. All right, try again. There you go. Hmm, Helen could use a heal, but I think I can just wait to get to the doctor. Alright, this would be the radio power, yes indeed. Let's go ahead and flip the circuit breaker and then turn it back radio on. radio breaker light on my panel just lit up. Guess you found your way to section 6 and got it up and running. 
Rangers, I know the radio is why you're here, but the water is really... Oh, crap! Pressure just hit critical! If you don't get those valves closed now, everything's gonna blow! I'll keep doing what I can from here, but you've gotta take care of those valves! Okay, wow, is this actually a time thing? I'm just going to assume it is. Alright, let's go to number eight. Where's number eight? Where's number eight? It's gotta be this, right? Yeah. Eight and ten. Ten is where the thing is. It's funny, she's screaming about, like, the pressure's going critical and there's all these beeping noises. But if you actually go over here to where she actually is, it's like, eh, no, everything's fine. Alright, who has it? You do. Hopefully this one doesn't require a damn mechanical skill to use. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, let's go back for those chests I missed. Theodore leveled up. <laughs> Theodore just got blown up. It's okay, since he's going to level up, it's actually going to put his health to maximum, so no problem. Alright, let's go ahead and call that in. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations. There you go, Theodore. Good as new. Okay, once again, not going to focus on his assault rifle skill. He's a utility person. Pretty good on leadership. Um, I haven't really been using the medic skills. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. I'm thinking I'll be able to find a medic at some point, too. Let's do kiss-ass. I like having dialogue options open. I mean, if you wanted to play the most combat-effective cast of characters possible, then you wouldn't have anybody focus on any of those skills, right? No kiss-ass, hard-ass, or anything like that. But, I don't know, I'm not playing on the, the hardest difficulty, so I don't need, like, the most efficient min-maxed characters or whatever. I want to have some fun. And having at least one skill in dialogue is pretty damn important for that. And actually, I've got two, because Angela also has hard-ass. Although, again, she's going to disappear at some point, but... Yeah, got four hard ass and three kiss ass. Gives me a lot of options. Alright, need to open up number two. Yeah. <laughs> Good try, guys. Good try. Almost there. Just keep trying. There you go. Oh, I, I guess their pathfinding is not going to redo unless I do it again. There you go. <laughs> I guess the pathfinding only generates when you actually click. Not when the world state changes. Okay, main valve. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you can come with us now. Switch back to the whole party. There we go.
Nice work. The water is flowing smoothly and the pressure is relieved. For the first time in a while, nothing is about to explode. Now that the crisis has passed, I'm guessing the town's gonna want to vote for a new mayor right away. I'd better head up. Thanks again, Rangers. They're gonna vote right now? Ah, well. Maybe I can put my kiss-ass and hard-ass skills to use and influence the vote, hmm? You can guess who I'm gonna vote for, or try to influence their votes towards. Hint, it's not the guy that called us... us rangers, um, goddamn child and dog killers. It's the other one. Copy, Echo One. Looks like we gotta level up. For Vulture's Cry. Mmm. I don't... I mean... I don't really care about her skills, because I'm not going to keep her for long. Uh... Well, I have her for now. So I guess I'll upgrade her sniper skill? Unless... Well, you know what? I mean... Okay, I'm going to get somebody else to replace her at some point, right? But it's not like she's going to disappear forever. Uh, she's just going to go to, I don't know, the Ranger's Citadel or something and hang out, and then I can always, you know, get her back into my party at any point if I want, I think. So maybe I actually want to upgrade her Animal Whisperer skill so that I can use it at some point if I need it? But then again, if I don't have her in my party, she's not going to level up, which means her skill isn't going to get any higher. So, does that really matter? I mean, like, when I'm near the end game or something, she's not going to have an amazing skill in anything. So... Hmm. Now well, I'll just go Sniper. Make her more useful in combat for now, I guess. Okay, let's go vote. Let's go participate in the democratic process. Then after this is done with, we need to go take out the Wrecker camp. Oh, here okay, we go. Okay, let's hold the vote. All those who want Sean Bergen to be mayor, say aye. Right. Was, was that one now, person? All those who want Kate Preston to be mayor, say aye. <laughs> well, I guess I don't need to do anything then, do I? <laughs> hmm. Seems pretty conclusive to me. Kate Preston is our new mayor. Thank you, everyone. I promise to do my best. Uh... If anyone wants to see me, I'll be in the mayor's office. Thanks again. Let's get to work. No audio file? Okay. Hey, Rangers, thank you so much for saving our butts. I'm guessing you're going to uh, head out once your business here is done. I think we can make it easier for you to come and go. Okay. Open up the sewer tunnel by the crane. Oh. Okay, cool. Alright, well, let's go see her back at the mayor's office. See if she has anything more to say. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. Without you helping me solve all those crises, everybody would have voted in Bergen, uh, voted in Bergen for mayor. And we'd all be under the thumb of the Red Scorpions by now. Not to mention, under about 30 feet of water. Everyone's view on the rangers is really turning around. I even got a few folks to gather some supplies to send you off with. Now, what can I do for you? Right, so, uh, what's, what do you feel about Bergen? What's he up to? Mm, doesn't have what it takes to make a good mayor. That's not really relevant anymore, is it? He's not the mayor. So, you're the mayor now. Strange as it seems, I am. And all thanks to you. Didn't I already ask about the Red Scorpions? I guess not. Those hooligans will have no place in this town from now on. They did nothing to help. Our gate will be closed to them. Good. 
so how's the water situation? Even though you've had exactly, like, two seconds to assess the water situation since we just solved it, but nonetheless, how is it? Thanks to you, we've got plenty. Enough to keep our irrigation system running, keep the topsoil healthy, and lots of surplus to sell. We're in good shape. Yeah, so, how is the topsoil? You saved it, Rangers. If the irrigation system had burst and flooded our fields, it would have all washed away. Cool. Don't suppose the doc wants to join me? Could use a medic. Oh yeah, can you patch this up? Forgot about that. Okay, let's see how our quests are doing. I think it's time to go into the tunnels and then, well, see where that goes. It's probably just going to lead us outside, I would assume. Then we need to go take care of the Wrecking Crew stronghold. Yeah, it's probably just a quick exit, right? This right here. That's what they unlocked. Um, oh, wait, repeater units. I totally forgot about the radio tower. Yeah, that's kind of one of the big reasons I came here. Alright, protect high pool, so that's the... I need to go to their encampment and kill them. Yep, just spells dowry, no idea. Okay, yeah, let's go do the radio. I'm curious. What would happen if I threw explosives at a bunch of kids? I'm not gonna do it, but I'm curious what would happen. Would they allow you to kill kids? I remember that was an issue with at least one of the original fallouts. I think it was kind of like patched out and then... Or edited out before release, I believe. And then patched in. It's been patched in since from unofficial patches, I believe. Something like that. Yeah, this is probably just a quick exit so I don't have to go down all these elevators just to get out of this damn place. Oh yeah, I could go talk to Sean Perkin. Let's see how he's doing. Breaking a criminal out of jail, Rangers? That's pretty low. Even for you. Criminal? What criminal? That vulture's cry, or whatever she calls herself. You got some balls breaking her out of jail and walking around with her in broad daylight. Unless you got a good explanation why she ain't in our jail awaiting our hanging. Or awaiting her hanging. You're not welcome here. I don't even think I need to explain myself, since you didn't even, like, stop me. I came to you with this information, so... Uh, apparently I can just say goodbye and keep on walking, but... If you want an explanation, then fine. We have arrested her and are taking her back to Ranger Center for trial. <coughs> Bullshit. It, you are? Well, it ain't the brutal cath catharsis we were looking for, but at least you're doing your jobs for once. Carry on, Rangers. Yeah. You're taking steps in the right direction, Rangers. Keep going. Alright, so... I guess I just use the unit... Actually, where are the repeater units? I do have them, right? Do I have them? I, I don't remember. I must... yeah. Yeah, they look like this, don't they? Hold on, there's gotta be a quest item. No? Oh, here they are. Yeah. Bingo! 
one second. Why are you Ranger so quiet? Echo, this is Ranger Command. Are you reading me? For some reason, the audio for the voiceovers just goes really quiet randomly. It's weird. I actually, by the way, in the audio options, I actually have the voiceover turned uh, quite a bit higher than all the other sounds. Just to make it easier to hear, and even then, it's still sometimes hard to hear. Roger, Ranger Command. We read you Lima Charlie. Roger, Echo One. We just received the high pool relay signal. Looks like everything's hooked up correctly. We should be... The gift I want to pass on to you... The weak, the downtrodden, the persecuted and enslaved. Come to the new Citadel, join our Brotherhood, and you too will wear the armor of the Evolved. You too will be immortal, invulnerable, untouched by disease or age for all time. You will be a perfect being, ready to lead the world into a golden future of light, beauty, and... God's mercy is in the bullets of our guns, brothers and sisters. It is in the tips of our bayonets. It is in the death of every sinner who is too blind to turn to the light. Every time we end a life in this God-forsaken world, we end misery and bring peace. So, I say unto you, friends, praise the Lord and... Damn it, Woodson! I did not want that to go out over the air! Sorry about that, Echo One. Good job, you're halfway there. Please proceed to Ag Center ASAP. We are still getting SOS calls from that location. Again, deal with the emergency first. The radio tower second. Copy? Copy. Roger, Echo One. Ranger Command out. It's a whole load of crazy cultist crap coming out over the airwaves. Immortal, disease-free, uh, perfect being. Obviously talking about being turned into uh, an android or something of the sort. And we got another level up. Copy, Echo One. Echo One. Congratulate! Yulia. Mm, okay, two points. Yeah, let's just save that. Probably put it into shotguns next. Yeah, it's wait till she gets up to four and use it on shotguns. Alright, well, we still have to go to the Ag Center, so... Wow, I, yeah, I just realized. Even though I avoided going to the Ag Center first to, uh, to save them because I was going to High Pool, I, st I do still have to actually go there because I still need to deal with the radio tower. Which means I'm going to get to see what happened... Uh, what, what's left of Ag Center. It's not going to be pretty. Alright, see where this goes. Probably just leads outside. Or, oh, back to the beginning. Yeah, back to the beginning. <laughs> just come out of a pipe. <coughs> I think somebody mentioned that there was something I maybe missed around here. I don't remember exactly where it was. Was it here? Well, no, I've already been here. That's where Alex was. Or Alexi. I don't see anything obvious on the map. I can't go through there. Hmm. Oh well. Alright. Let's head over to the Wrecking Crew campsite. I'm gonna wreck the Wrecking Crew. Let's swap back to our other weapons. Things are about to get serious. This is Kate Preston, your new mayor. I, uh... I just wanted to say that... Thanks to the Desert Rangers, it looks like the reservoir will be up and running again sooner rather than later. Highpool has had its differences with Ranger Citadel in the past, but their actions today not only saved us, but very possibly the lives of many others in the Wastes who rely on our water. 
For that reason, I would like to state clearly that from here on, Hypool will always rely on the protection of the Desert Rangers, and will not consider offers of protection from other parties. Thank you. Improving the reputation of the Rangers one day at a time. Alright, looks like we could probably head down here. To get there. Hello? Alright, well I could pass through there no problem if I wanted to. Given my radiation suit protects me from level 2 radiation, that's only level 1. Mm, I have no reason to go over there yet, though. I do kind of want to do it just out of pure curiosity, but we have some emergencies to deal with first. Alright, you bastards. Let's wipe you out at the source. Gotta pull the whole weed out, or else it grows back. Let's see what we got. Hmm. It's quite an extensive little trash fort they've got going on here. Sharpshooter. Got a sniper. Another sniper. A lot of gunmen. They're very weak, though. Only 15 hit points. How big is this place? Hmm. I wasn't... I was actually going to end the episode before taking these guys on, but actually, this place looks quite small. I think this is it. Yeah. It shouldn't take too long. Let's do it. <laughs> Wearing tin hats in the desert. No wonder their brains are fried. That is kind of dumb, isn't it? Alright, we can get a height advantage on some of these people. I guess I could leave my snipers up here. If I shoot this guy, are the rest going to come for me? I mean, if I don't have range on them, they probably don't have range on me. I don't want to leave everybody all... so close together, so bunched up here. Yeah, let's go move some people around. Let's put Angela and Yulia down here. I'll just leave my snipers up here. And the rest can go down here. I want to actually move a bunch of them up here, because this looks like nice cover, but I'm pretty sure this guy will activate if we move around here. Alright, let's test out this new sniper. It does between 24 and 32 damage. These people have... Yeah, they don't have much health. If I hit them, they're dead. Simple as... Whoa. Whoops. Simple as that. Okay. You are... Let's just guarantee it. 100%. You are dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh wow. 70% chance to hit. I'll take it. Nice. Jesus. <gasps> Out of range. Just do some ambushing. Alright, yeah, let's get these people up here. Gonna make our stand.
Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Shit, I think she's... Yeah, she's bleeding. What the? That guy just, like, <laughs> spun around. Ballerina. What the hell did she just do? That dude can't make up his mind. What? What do you... What? That made no sense. Out of range. 99% chance. Alright, this gun's not quite as good, so... Might actually not kill the... Well, actually, yeah, I should probably shoot this guy, because that's guaranteed to kill. Sniper bastard here. I need to move someone closer. Hmm, he's in cover though. I'm probably. Uh, yeah, the sight's blocked. I don't think it's a good idea to move him there. Four damage. Jesus, that's not much. Alright, you can't reach, can you? Oh, one block short. Actually, we can solve that. Yep, and she still has enough for one shot. Oh, 22%. Okay, maybe not. Let's go for this guy. <laughs> oh my god. I love my snipers. I don't want to just move him out into the open here. But, like, we gotta get around. I shouldn't have moved Harper up here. This is a bad idea, actually. He's just gonna get sniped by the sniper, and he can't do anything to stop it. I gotta move him. Ugh. Oh, yes, come out of cover! Thank you. And they still sound like zombies. <laughs> wow, isn't that dude in cover? I guess I'm at a good enough angle that I can hit him out of cover, because 85%. It's a good chance to hit. Alright, let's get this bastard. Yeah. Out of range. Move out into the open. Hmm, well, Helen's coming up next, and she's almost certainly gonna kill that dude, so... Ah, forget him. Move here in ambush in case this guy pops out. Let's get a little bit better of a chance to hit. Oh man, bastard's hard to hit. Ambush. There we go. <laughs> Going back up to cover. He's like, fuck this, man. I'm out. Right back to where he was before. Okay, we need to move in. We can't. This is a bad position for us to be in. We need to move around to the left, I guess. Mm. I mean, that makes the most sense. It's going to take a hell of a long time, though. All right. Start moving. I'm assuming there's nobody else here. I don't think there are any other enemies. 32%, that's terrible. Oh god, I can barely go anywhere. I 
I might as well just leave you in ambush. In case he moves out of cover. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm not sure how he's going to behave. I don't know if he's going to try to snipe my snipers. Or if he's going to try to move. Oh, well. There we go. <laughs> that was very dumb. Why did you do that? You should have stayed there. Two levels up. Yeah, Yulia's bleeding. It's alright, we can fix that. I believe. I think. Suture? Yeah, suture. Is it the surgeon skill? Mm-hmm. There we go, get you fixed in no time, Yulia, don't worry. Hmm. Bunch of loot. <laughs> A broken tool. Hello. Man, I'm gonna make a lot of money from selling these weapons. Seven sniper rounds. Sweet. Actually, you know, maybe I should I should probably strip the weapons for parts. Mechanical? Yeah, it's mechanical. Yeah, this Z key to highlight usable things is very handy. Well, I believe this is going to increase my strength or something. The statue looks like it could bench press itself. <laughs> Alright, got some more skill points. I'll deal with that when I level everybody up. Everybody sure likes to bury all their loot. Seems like it'd make things hard. Like, oh man, where did I bury my toothbrush this morning? <laughs> it'd be funny if these piles could be trapped. Like, you dig down, you find a mine or something. A Cabbage Patch Kid! Yay! Just give that to Harper. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Just, just says Cabbage Patch Kid. Alright, um, I think that's it. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Looted all the bodies, dug up all the stuff. Can't pick that. Yeah? Did the quest update, or do I just have to go back? We followed up our victory over the Wrecking Crew at Highpool by tracking the rest of the gang to their camp and finishing them off for good. Sean Bergen will be happy to hear about it.
Well, let's finish up the storyline. Let's go tell him. I'll level up my people later. Thank God for shortcuts. Wrecking crew wrecked. An irrigation system fixed. That's what I call doing the job right. Thank you, Rangers. We'll be calling the Citadel from now on. We even won douchebag Sean Bergen to our side. Now that's what I call a job well done. Let's level up our people. Copy, Echo. Echo one. Congratulations, Echo. Ooh, four skill points. Was I saving those up for the assault rifle skill? I can't remember. I might have been saving up for the assault rifle skill. Hmm. Well, so far I haven't encountered anything that requires me to upgrade my lockpicking or computer science. It's always good to upgrade your assault rifle skill. Okay, let's do that, and then, yeah, I'll spend the rest of the points for a while on lockpicking and computer science. It's probably important to keep perception up for stuff like traps and whatnot. Let's wait on her. Actually, nah, I probably should spend it on perception. Yeah, okay, I'll spend it on perception. Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far. And when we return, I guess we'll probably head on over to the Ag Center and I don't see if there's something we can salvage there. Somebody left to save. Uh, hopefully, they're not all dead. Well, we can hope. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.